All right, this is the tutorial. It's basically once you purchase an Amazon Fire Stick that's been jailbroken, this is how you set it up. The first part of this is once you plug it into your HDMI and connect it with your USB cable to a power supply, you're going to access your internet. I'm assuming you already have done that. You're now in the part that you need to register. Either you create an Amazon account or you log in. Right now, we're going to log into my Amazon account. Now, it shouldn't take that long. Now I'm going to have to put the camera down for a second so I can log in. It won't take me that long and I do apologize for this of course. I just don't want anyone logging into my stuff. I don't think anyone else out there does either. It'll only take a minute. Once you enter in an email address, it's going to ask you for a password. Now of course you want to give it your password. Now, once you're done with the password, as you can see, it's going to say Amazon Fire Stick registration successful. It's going to tell you your name. You're going to go to continue, and usually it'll ask you if you want to um, basically sign up for 30 days of Amazon Prime. You can or you can't. Your first thing will be is you're going to want to search for this app. Now, this app is called Classic TV App. I'm currently using the voice search feature. Let's try that one more time. Classic. My apologies for that. It should only take a second. My phone decided to go off on me. I'm using my phone right now currently to control it. Classic TV app. That's what you want to get. Once you find your classic TV app, this is the actual icon itself. It is a small classic TV. It says classic TV. And you're going to want to select it. Once you select it, it's going to install, and there you go. You're going to see right now all of your different options for all the different channels. You're going to go to videos and add-ons. Once you go to videos and add-ons, as you can see, you have several different options right here. Now, most people like live sporting events, movies. Right now, we're going to go to one of the popular ones. You can click on any of them. doesn't really matter. We're going to go to movies. And then we're going to go to in theaters. Now, some people, it will look a little different, but basically you get the idea. Once we go to in theaters, as you can see, we have the Age of Ultron. We have uh, the Fast and the Furious 7. We have uh, Hot Pursuit. We have several things. We'll go to the Avengers, Age of Ultron. Once you click on that, you just got to wait for it to finish working, basically. It won't take that long. Uh, unfortunately, this is also dependent upon your internet speed. Faster internet speed does allow it to work faster. Slower internet speed does allow it to work slower. As you can see, you have numerous different options to choose from. I always select the first one just to try it out. As you can see, it's opening it up. And it takes a little bit. And it's still working. Uh, as all things, my internet's not too fast right now. I'm having to run a lot of things off of it. So I apologize for that. And all these movies that are in theaters, the quality does vary. Sometimes it's HD quality, sometimes it's cam or camcorder quality. That all just depends. As you can see, the multiple options there. If your first option doesn't work, you can always try the second, third, fourth. That's why there's so many options. All of these movies are streaming off of overseas servers. As you can see, that one failed. Now, that is going to happen every so often. We'll just go to the second one. Remember, this is kind of a trial and error when it comes to certain things due to the fact that we can't see which ones are currently streaming, which ones are not streaming. So I'll wait till the movie comes on so you can see the final product. Now, all of the apps work the same way. You just go in there and pretty much just root around, search which one you want, or basically um, use a search option and find a show. All TV shows are commercial free. Usually within one hour to 24 hours after a show has been broadcast, it will already be uploaded without any commercials. As you can see, that one failed too. This does happen. And this is the one issue that I do hate about this, unfortunately. As you can see, it's trying to open up. It takes a little bit, and I do apologize for that. Unfortunately, it's not wanting to do it. Let's go down to, let's try one of the ones close to the bottom. Let's try this one. And it's working. 
Usually there are a lot of people streaming off a specific one and that can also cause you some problems. Luckily you have so many different options to choose from. And there you go. As you can see, this is the Avengers 2, the Age of Ultron currently in theaters. And it's fairly good quality as you can see. Not perfect, but come on everyone, what do you expect? It is still in theaters, but you will get the full movie. Now, if you have any questions, just remember to hit me up. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for purchasing an Amazon Fire Stick that has been jailbroken.